Hey guys, just want to do a real quick review on uh, the SIG P365. I know there was a, quite a bit of hype around this gun when it initially was released. Um, SIG had some problems with um, initial runs of this gun, I guess, with light primer strikes, um, striker breakage, um, and people going on and on about you know primer drag and this, that, and the other. So I was just kind of waiting to see if the gun would get revised or you know just kind of let let that first little bit of wave kind of go by and get some time with the mountain circulation, see if SIG would handle those problems. And um, luckily, um, I wasn't able to get my hands on one. My local gun shop, every time they got one in, they, they sold it, and they weren't getting very many in early. I didn't want to put a special order in. I just kind of wanted to wait and see uh, and just kind of be patient with it. So um, here in October, October 26, I called them up, and they said they had one. I went and checked it out, put it in my hands. And needless to say, um, my initial impressions were everything as advertised as far as how it felt just in the gun shop i was like wow it's uh even smaller than what i thought it would be you know you see dimensions and you see all this and that but until you get it in your hands and you feel it um it was really just kind of a shock so i said okay i'll go ahead and um uh, pick it up and was just hoping that they had fixed all the issues with it but you never know until you get one sometimes people are getting a good one sometimes they're getting a, a bad one you just don't know um, but I was willing to take the chance. So I did got it home and um, gave it an initial cleaning. Uh, it wasn't you know overly you know, lubed or anything and I just gave it a quick wipe down in, inside and got whatever shipping grease out of it. Uh, took it to the range and um, with most of the guns that I have, um, I always run them really hard you know first. I mean generally I won't even consider carrying it until I put a thousand rounds through it. I tr almost try to break them without going to, you know, to any kind of extreme, just, you know, th throwing them in the dirt or anything like that. Just take them to the range, just get them hot and just let them run. Just let them run on various types of ammo. Um, so this gun was no different. Um, and actually, I'll, with all the uh, negativity surrounding it, I was a little extra on this one. Um, so I took it to the range with 600 rounds. Uh, I was shooting Winchester White Box, PMC, uh, Blazer, Remington, all 115 grand ammo. Um, didn't have one single uh, problem out of the gun. I, um, I did have one problem actually, I, and here it is. One of the, um, I guess it was the one of the Winchester white box rounds uh, was defective and it wouldn't would not chamber this round. So um, that was the only thing, and that's not a gun issue. That's an ammunition issue. Um, even some of the cheap ammunition, you can tell when you fire it. Sometimes some of the rounds are just a little, not quite as hot as the other ones even though they're all supposed to be the same a lot of times they're not i know you guys that shoot a lot run into that constantly with this cheap ammo um but this thing ran 100 percent uh no issues whatsoever um i did see a bunch of that striker drag i don't have any casing to show you but there's plenty of plenty of shots out there you know showing you what that looks like um taking the gun apart um since then it uh you know, just no, no abnormal signs of wear or anything like that. Gave it another clean, took it to the range again. Uh, the second day, actually the first day, I shot 600 of the, my own rounds that I brought. Um, was pleased with it enough that I went and got another 200 rounds. The gun was insanely hot. Um, put another 200 rounds through it. So in my first day, it was 800. Came home, two days later, 350 rounds through it. Um, the very next day... 250 rounds through it. So I've got 1,400 rounds through this gun um, without one single hiccup other than the, the round of ammunition that I showed you. Um, and I, I'm telling you, uh, my normal gun to carry was a Glock 42, um, a slim guy, athletic built. Anything pretty much larger than this is kind of difficult for me, and I don't want to wear clothes that are overly baggy or, you know, force myself to dress a certain way. I like to dress a certain way, and so I don't want to, you know, I got wear form-fitting clothes, so anything larger than this really is a, a bit of a uh, pain to, for me to conceal. Um, that's why I was really, really uh, interested in this when it came out. So anyway, um, yeah, I tell you, if you haven't had a chance to put one in your hands, I, uh, I strongly recommend it flush fit grip you know gives you plenty of plenty of purchase on the gun you know they give you that little pinky extension which definitely is there um, for a little added grip the 12 round magazine I mean you've got a full purchase on this gun and it feels 
it feels good. I had not one single solitary issue with this gun. Couldn't be happier with the purchase. If you haven't had a chance to pick one up, um, I recommend you do. If you're lucky enough to have a gun range that has one that you can shoot before you can, obviously do that. Um, but it's a home run for me. And um, I just wanted to put this video out real quick. I mean, there's so much negativity out there. I just want to put in some positive feedback. And I know everybody's experiences are going to be different and what, what you know suits what shooters, um, this, that, and the other. But my experience is uh, it's definitely a home run. I couldn't be happier with the purchase. All right, guys, that's the end of this. Okay, guys, one last thing I forgot to show you. Um, the case, just my, uh, it has a date on there of October 2nd, 2018, um, for whatever that tells you. So, anyway, have a good one.